Uh, a lot of the challenges we've been facing are uh, the distances for one um, and the sheer number of people that need help for, for two. Distances, we're uh, looking at approximately 100 miles from the nearest fuel source to get up there originally at the beginning of the week with quite a few people that need help. There's we've been getting tasking or kind of conducting searches and, or we'll get tasking for medical evacuation or some patients have been critical. Some have been just out of food and water, dehydrated, and we're, sometimes we'll have to go search for some people. In the communities out here, actually, we've been, been good because we've been able to get information from locals and tell us they know the people in the surrounding areas. We've been able to locate people that are in higher need. So what the swimmers have been doing, not just myself, like some guys have been conducting some hoisting, but a lot of it's been trying to find LZs and conduct critical patients out of the areas where there's not any support or low level medical care and try to just transport them to higher levels of care. So we'll have to, in route, we'll, we'll conduct aid, first aid, we'll get people on oxygen. I'm sure other swimmers have done more. Like I know there's, I've heard of some other cases, but yeah, and we'll try to double up swimmers sometimes, and which is really beneficial in situations like this. And if we need to carry multiple people or just transit people from one place to another, it makes it a lot easier. The uh, most challenging thing I say is the amount of people that needed evacuation, so it's a little difficult to kind of maybe triage the level of care, who needs to go first, and because I mean everyone wants to get off if they need to, but we got to first try to get the highest level of need. There's only a couple buildings left standing in Marsh Harbor. In order to get up that far, we have a lot of fuel on board, sometimes two or, uh, rescue swimmers uh, to be able to handle the load. It doesn't give, leave a whole lot of room for additional survivors. Sometimes we can get anywhere from eight to 10 people in the back of the helicopter safely. Diverted in the air for different tasking uh, based on what's the most important and most urgent at the time.